we are going to go ahead and review MCSoft Anti Malware. Now, I did download the free trial and I got 29 days left. I will post a link on the description of the video for this page here so you can download it and try it out yourself if you want. Now, let's see, before we start using it, let's see what PC Magazine had to say about it. And I always use PC Magazine because they're really good at rating their soft, well, the software that, um, that comes out. Let's see what they say. Let me zoom in here so we can read it better. They say the pros uh, has very good results from some independent labs in our hands-on malware blocking test. Good at blocking malicious URLs. Behavior-based blocking tempered. Oh, tempered by common sense. So this antivirus they say was made for uh, you know by people with common sense. The cons uh, not tested by many independent labs. So so phishing protection. See, they're saying it's got. Eh, all right, phishing protection. Not te not tested by many, but it says that the tests that they did do were good. So the bottom line, uh, MCSoft Anti-Malware 9.0 focuses on the central task of fighting all kinds of malware, independent lab tests, and our own hands-on testing show that it does quite a good job. And it looks like they rated it. They rated it 4 out of 5 stars or circles whatever you want to call that there I like to say stars four out of five stars that's good so editor rating excellent that's awesome so this is what the program looks like here once you uh, download it and the link is on the description of the video if you want to download the free trial also and really easy to use it's got it'll tell you here in the green if your surf protection file guard and behavior blocker up protections up it'll be green it'll say up here And it'll say over here your computer is protected. All right, let's take a look here. So under the protection, under the protection tab up here, it's weird. Like you click on these, um, the overview protection, and it just goes up to this to search for something. Uh, it's not really good laid out. So let's go back to the overview and look at stuff from here. Scan here is the same as scan up here. Quarantine here is the same as quarantine up here and logs here is the same so it's basically redundant I don't, I don't like this menu setup it's a little bit redundant but let's go ahead and take a look at the scans they have they have a quick scan which I don't recommend because we we techs like to call it the cheap scan smart scan that scans wherever viruses like to hide but what I really recommend to use is a full scan as a full scan scans everything and it might take a couple hours but it's worth it guys always use full scan and you can choose here what to do on scan completion. You can select uh, report only or quarantine detected objects. I would recommend quarantine and shut down and if you're going to be waiting a long time. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop this because it's going to take forever. And we already know how the scans um, uh, test out thanks to a PC magazine. Sorry, I don't have enough time to wait for the scan to go through, guys. You know what? We'll let a quick scan go through. And let's let's see what it scans for. It says scanning for rootkits. So that's good. One of three. This is just a quick scan. It's not even the smart scan. The smart scan is usually what search for rootkits. But there it goes. Scanning memory now. Under app data and system 32. That's usually where... Uh, where you would scan for that and it found false positives with no risk false positive means you know just something that looks like it's malicious but it's actually no uh, a false alarm and so far it's only detected that that's good I haven't really done a scan on my computer for a long time and it's finding more uh, reg keys there which says no risk and it is done detecting 16 but they're all false positives okay that's cool let's look under the quarantine list here here you can actually add a file delete and restore they all have a log section here if you want to see the logs of everything you've done but let's go ahead and take a look at the um surf protection here log oh that's logs okay well, let's go back to protect see how this menu it's really weird guys all right surf protection here we are and uh how this works is a host file and you just gotta 
specify a host file to import here. If you don't know what a host file, it's a file deep in the system where you select who to trust or who don't. For it, It's weird. I, I can't really explain it, guys, but uh, you don't really have to worry about that. Just activate uh, surf protection and you're good. You don't really have to know the, the kinks of how it works and all that. All right, file guard. Let's see what that does. The scan level, you can uh, say fast, balance, or thorough. Thorough, it'll make it go slower, but I recommend you use that one, though. I recommend you use that one. Malware detections, quarantine, you can select here what you want to do. Pup detection, that's like uh, spyware. Uh, you can quarantine, do what you want there. And you can also scan files with specific extensions. There's a lot you can do on this program. All right, so it it can get a little um, confusing with how the menu is set up, but this thing could do a lot. And you can also send an email if malware is detected. That's awesome. I haven't seen another antivirus program have this. That's I like that about this one. I like the email notifications you can do on here. That's awesome, guys. So I'm going to give this program a good review because of that. That's awesome to have uh, your own, an email sent to you whenever uh, malware is detected. That's good. That's good. Behavior blocker, let's take a look at that feature on here. Watch for possible backdoor related activity, possible hijacker. You want to make sure you have all those checked. That's good. Look up repetition of programs. Activate paranoid mode. I think paranoid mode is uh, displays additional activities on the system that are suspicious but not always malicious. If you want to be paranoid, check that box. <laughs> all right. That's about it, guys. That's all there is on here. Um, application rules you can go ahead and add here add new rule and do stuff like that so there's a lot you can do on here now with a scan also you should be able to make a scheduled scan let me see how you can do that here scan that's something I haven't seen on here is a scheduled scan that's what we want to be able to use let's go under settings see if we can find it Logging, quarantine, rescan, language, permissions, notifications, scheduled scans. There we are. All right, scheduled scans. And here you can select uh, if you want to scan every Sunday at whatever time or whatever day of the week, monthly, weekly, daily, whatever you want to do, and it'll scan automatically for you. That's awesome. So it looks like this program has all of that. I'm going to give this program a good review because uh, first, because PC Magazine says it scans good and finds stuff the only thing it's not good for is phishing but come on not a lot of people get fished anyway fish is when they steal your login and password by fooling you into another website that's what it is but uh, i like this program i'm going to give it a good review guys I'm actually going to give it the same review as pc magazine four out of five stars because i didn't really like the menu or else i would give it five and a couple other features that doesn't have like pc tune-up utilities i haven't seen on here so uh Actually, three out of five is what I'm going to give it because I've seen better. You know, I've seen some with tune-up utilities, and it doesn't seem like this one has it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you soon in another software review.